Hello everyone, it's Oscar, and in this episode we will cover the second part of web server topic, which is user web page. It's a solution that allows you to make a simple visualization for your machine. Sometimes you don't need the traditional HMI panel on the smallest machine, but it still would be nice to have kind of ad hoc access to production data, state of the process or some parameterization. When the budget matters, this simple, free and built-in solution can be a perfect match. Today I will use the project that we made in previous episode, uh, where I was presenting the system web page. So the basic parameters like IP address and access to web server will be already configured. But no worries, you can find the link to this episode in the description below. So now let's jump into software. Okay, so before we build our user web page, we have to configure FTP server on our PLC. To do this, we go to Ethernet port, then application settings, and FTP server settings. Here we choose to use FTP server and the default login name is FXCPU and the same is the password, so FXCPU. Of course, we can set up a new password, whatever we like. Then we can check if the parameters are correct no error found, so perfect, we can click apply and we see the message that uh, the password was changed. So we click OK and now we can upload this to our PLC. We uploaded our configuration to PLC, so now it's time to design our user web page. No worries, you don't have to know HTML, CSS or JavaScript. I will show you how to download a simple free software to build our web page quickly in the drag and drop manner. To download the user web page design tool, we have to go to Mitsubishi Electric website and then in the uh, search window we just type user web page design tool. In this way you easily will find the right tool. Ok, this is our user web page design tool. First of all, we have to create the new project. So we go for project and create project. Here we have to specify the series of our PLC. It can be FX5 or it can be R CPU. In our case it's FX5 CPU, so I choose it and click OK. Now we have to establish connection to our PLC. So let's go to communication tab and here communication settings. Here we have to put IP address of our PLC and also the login and password to FTP server uh, that we configured a few seconds before. So I put my password and be sure that you put uh, SD card into your PLC before the communication test. So now let's make the communication test. connection was successful. So perfect. We can click OK and OK. And now we have prepared our SD card before we will upload uh, our project to PLC, to our SD card. So to find the instruction about it, we can go to communication and click write files to PLC. And here we will see five steps that we have to accomplish before we will upload our uh, project to PLC. So first of all, we have to create some folders on SD card. And then it's important step four that we have to put our PLC in a stop mode before we will upload uh, the project to PLC. So let's prepare our SD card first. Now click cancel and uh, in my SD card I already prepared the www folder. Uh, inside of it uh, you can find the user folder and inside you will find CSS and IMG folders. So my card is prepared uh, but before I will upload our user web page uh, to PLC I would like to add something. 
to it. So on the left side you can find PLC components. And here the basic component is the data block. So we will use this as example. On the right side we can immediately see the properties. So we can click settings and here we can specify registers that are connected with this component. We can add more registers or we can delete them. In my case I will use two registers D0 and D1. So I put the display label, I put the device address, also the data type and display format. Now I click OK and always after changing some properties you have to click apply. Now we can see these changes. Okay, I will add some more components here, but I don't want to waste your time, so... Okay, as you can see, I added some additional components. Uh, you can see some images here, plots, buttons and uh, data blocks. And I also uploaded some code to my PLC uh, to generate data for these components. So now I can write uh, our files to PLC. We already accomplished all the steps, so we can click OK this time. You can see the list of all files that will be uploaded to our SD card. So we can click Execute and wait for Upload. Perfect! Our data was written to PLC uh, successfully, so now we can see how it works. Now, let's see the result. We can use the PC that is already connected to our PLC, but remember, it's a web page. Any device with web browser will be good option here. So, in any internet browser of device that is plugged to our PLC, you just enter the IP address of PLC and you can see our visualization. Uh, you can see all the components that we added that are connected with the values of my PLC code. This was a very basic visualization that you can quickly prepare in our free web page design tool. I didn't change anything in the code of this web page, but you can easily change styles, content, and even you can add some custom JavaScript. So feel free, it's just a web page. So, I think for today it's all. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye!